Trade What You See with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648 or internationally at 727 873 7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, well, I'm going to give you my best two cents worth. I've been up uh, uh, all night, and I'll try to give you what I think is happening for what it's worth. And if you pay more than two cents, you've overpaid. We're looking at the U.S. dollar index here, folks. You can see that big right in the middle of the page, 0 0.382 that we made just the other day. Uh, at 94.80, we are now getting ready to take out those highs. You'll notice the ABCD before those highs. We were uh, <laughs> long the euro there, and it broke down. And then at the 382, uh, we went short the euro and the yen, and those are working pretty good. Uh, we're going to see what's going to happen here. But that's what I think is happening. Uh, folks, we, we, we live in interesting times, and we've never gone through anything quite like this before. I mean, I've been through the, well, it's in the last 60 years, I've seen just about everything. But, uh, you know, this is different than 9-11. It's different than, uh, you know, the SARS. It's different than the Ebola. At least that's, that's the, what they're telling us. So uh, we're basically at world war against a virus. All countries are in the same thing. I hope we stick together, whether we will or not. I don't know. Somebody always wants to make a edge whenever they get something like this, but it's going to be interesting. I'm going to, hopefully, we're going to have Bill Meridian on the show today uh, to talk to us a little bit. That I don't. It's not going to be a full show of Bill because he's uh, he's as tired as everybody else. But uh, we'll get an idea. Folks, my my here's my two cents worth. I think it's a, a pretty much a mathematical certainty that these uh, mark. The commodity markets and the stock markets will probably close sometime this week for a few weeks, maybe as long as two weeks, maybe four or five days. I don't know. Remember in 19, in 2001, we closed for, I think, six trading days. It's in the Constitution that we're supposed to be open four days, or not closed four days in a row, but you know, during times like this, they'll probably do something because commerce is shutting down. Now, the foreign exchange markets will not shut down because that's worldwide commerce and they're still going to be doing business. It's just going to be small. And it's going to be a blessing because it's going to get this thing in, under control a lot faster than if they don't. I can't believe that some of the things that we're seeing here uh, in Philadelphia when I'm there, I play poker at this little place called the Sugar House. They're, they're having a big poker tournament on Friday, a, a spring poker tournament. I couldn't believe it. Uh, even our little a casino here in Tucson. It's a very small Indian casino, which is in foreign land. They can do whatever they want. Um, they're open, but there's nobody in it. I mean, there's there's no more poker. There's still people playing slot machines, but there's pretty much uh, in it. The markets in Philippines, that's uh, that, that, that would be like closing pork bellies, and they closed a long time ago. Hey, that's my two cents worth. And like I say, if you overpaid, you pay too much, you know. So anyway, uh, I, I want to show you folks, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, and I don't get I don't get amazed very often. But I've been putzing around with this artificial intelligence thing for a long time. And uh, I want to show you what happened last night because even I didn't believe this. Let me get this up here so we can take a quick look at it. This is a two-minute chart, and I'm going to get it up here and look at it. I'm, you know, unfortunately, I'm going to be mumbling, but <laughs> bear with me here. Okay, look at the time between two and four. You'll notice the little dots up there. That's when the market was limit bid for two hours. And you'll notice that the AI program, four, four, four bars, eight minutes after that was supposed to end, you can see that that's where the turn came. And look what happened. It went all the way down to the bottom. That was a hundred hand, that was a thousand points in the Dow Jones, folks. And then we had the rally back. Now, I'm giving you a bunch of charts and stuff, and whether you believe me or not, I don't care. But let's take a look here. Here's what I think is going to happen if we get this. This is Christmas Day. Uh, multiplied by about 10, in my opinion. All right, let's get up here and take a look at it. Okay, Larry, lighten up. Mr. Valentine has set the price. <laughs> All right, if we happen to get up to 2565 sometime today or tomorrow, if we're still around, or Thursday, if we're still trading, look at that one very closely from a sell point, boys and girls, because that's going to be 
Uh, the second ABCD that we've had in this bear market, actually the third one, because we had the one back on March 1st when the Fed dropped the bomb of uh, dropped interest rates, uh, whatever it was. And so now that, that'll be it. That, that, that will be it if it's in. So, And no matter what happens here, folks, it's going to be okay. It really is. No, uh, that the short sellers are not going to close the position. And they're, first of all, they're probably not going to give anybody a heads up on this. And and believe me, folks, if you're if you're in the market and they close it, it's just like it was Sunday. Okay, it, it just it just closes and then they open again, just like we did in in nine eleven. Then nine in nine one one, Arch and I, the market was still trading when the first tower was hit. Okay, then the uh, the the uh, arch had called me and told me the Pentagon had hit. CNN didn't even have that yet. Okay, and uh, and and the S and P was still trading down about nine or ten points, and I had a chance to sell it, and I said, "Oh, this is going to be bad," and I, I just and, and I was already short, and I said, "I and I'm just trading trends," and and uh, the. Uh, uh, the, the market was still open, and I said, oh, I should sell some more. And I said, no, I don't want to do that. That's just not the right thing to do. And then, of course, it, it closed about uh, 930 or something right before the New York Stock Exchange opened, I believe. I don't remember exactly. And we didn't open before five, uh, for I think it was six or seven days that we finally opened. And the market rallied a little bit uh, for three or four days, as I recall. And then... Uh, uh, Rallied up all the way to a 61% retracement. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, the market ain't going high right away, Mr. 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 T. Anyway, let's. Uh, boy, I'm really. I'm having a rough time. Hey, please don't call in today, folks, because I won't even be able to answer any questions. Uh, I'm going to do my best to mumble through this because I I think these things are important. We talked about silver hitting the long term. 1.27 expansion on the weekly chart at 11.77. We rallied up to 13.10 in silver last night. Last night, and this is something we talked about here in the show, is to watch for a retracement in the silver and watch for a retracement in the gold. So if you'll take a look at this, this is what we had this morning. I sent this out uh, long before it happened, and that was to be buying the gold at right around 1468. The low was 1466. If we look at the silver, we'll take a look at that one. We did pretty much the same, uh, same pattern in that one. And I want to get it up here if I can find it. And there it is. We'll get the silver up here. That was the gold. Okay, gold's moved up a little bit from that level. Here's the where's the silver at? Well, the silver's doing the same thing. I can't find the silver. I'm looking right at it and I can't even find it. So that's not a good sign. But it, the the silver did exactly the same thing. So both of those held up. And if uh, now what you do is you put your stop at break even and hold your uh, hold your horses. That's really about all you can do here. So sort of pay attention to that. Okay. All right. Now. Those are the main things. Watch the stock market. Uh, we, we're heading down to about 1950 is what I think, not <laughs> in the S&P, but we'll see. 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the silver chart. I did find it, and I put it in there showing you the uh, Gartley that completed on the uh, smaller 15-minute chart after that bottom was put in. We've had a pretty nice rally off of these things. So if you bought that bottom, make sure that you put your stop at the break-even point, for heaven's sakes. That's the main thing that you really want to be. I'm going to be talking now about the Australian dollar. I've just posted the Australian dollar. Yesterday, if you recall, the Australian government shut down. They basically shut Shut down Australia. The market actually moved 100 pips, and people were saying how bullish that was. And I said, yes, there's a strong possibility that is bullish because it was exactly at the 1.618 level. But then I put a giant caveat in there because I said, if this thing breaks below that level, it's going to be extremely bearish, and you'll never guess what happened. Take a look at this failed pattern, folks. You see how it rallied for one day, rallied about 100 pips, which is, you know, a substantial amount of money, $1,000. And then you can see what's happened. It's broken down badly and broken below everything. I mean, this is, uh, uh, this is what we're seeing in the U.S. The U.S. dollar is very strong, folks. Uh, and it's not in, in most assets are been, been hit, and they're going to be hit a little bit more. I don't know what's going to happen here. I've not lived through anything like this before. I do know we're going to be much stronger after it's all over. My fondest hope is that these countries— the ones that don't get along very well, like Iran and Israel and some of the others, will join hands and say, yeah, we ought to probably do this. By the way, Marshall, thank you very much. It is St. Patrick's Day to those of you that are uh, Irish and those of you that wish that you were Irish. But uh, anyway, we'll uh, see that. People here in Tucson, it's business as usual. The stores are open. The restaurants are open. There's no panic anywhere. Even the casino is open. I got a flyer last night, I told you, from the uh, casino there in Philadelphia. They're having a big poker tournament on Friday. There, there's no concern there. And yet, mo yet most of the restaurants in, in the Philly are already closed. So, so some people just do not believe that there's something not right here. Uh, I happen to have the first instances of one of my uh, students, his family uh, in, uh, has uh, contracted the uh, 
the virus. They're they're resting comfortably in their house, but they do have it, and uh, they're not uh, they're not panicking or anything, and uh, they're having a little uh, uh, increased fever and a tiny bit of sore throat, a t little dry cough, and but other than that, there's no no seriousness there because no one in the family is uh, at a you know an age where it's going to be good, which is they're probably going to be they'll be immunized once this thing passes. So we'll see. Now when Bill comes on, when Bill Meridian comes on at the break, he's going to be talking to us a book that was uh, done a long time ago. Uh, what was that darn book called? It was called, Oh, The End of Days by a girl named Sylvia Brown. He's going to be talking about that. And uh, yes, they were tested and they uh, they do have it. Yes, that's the reason why, Marshall, is that uh, casinos are in a foreign country, uh, at least here in the United States. Well, in, I don't know about Philadelphia, but here in Arizona, uh, I think we have about a dozen of them. They're all on Indian land, and that means it's on federal land. It's a foreign country. And so they have their own rules and laws and stuff. But uh, well, 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 you know, folks, this is really a, the old Chinese curse. May you live in interesting times is certainly upon us. Now, the thing is, we got to live through this, and things are going to get a lot better. Now, I have a very strong feeling that the markets are probably going to close sometime between now and Friday, maybe even Monday. I don't know. I think they're going to close. The reason why is they're closing everything except uh, you know the, the essential things, and pretty soon the essential things are going to close too. And that's probably the best way to try to control it. So we'll see if that's going to be the case. Yes, yes, uh, Jimmy, we're going to have Bill Meridian talk to us about that. The problem with that book, well, I'm gonna, I don't want to take uh, to to take a uh, uh, Bill Meridian Thunder or not, but we'll you know we'll let him tell us talk about it a little bit. Bill happens to be in the states right now, so that'll be good. He'll be on in about eight or ten minutes, and we'll be able to look at it. The price of meat on the commodity exchanges has just absolutely collapsed. Now let me let me give you my two cents worth, folks. We have had a collapse in heating oil that's been monumental into new low grounds for the year. We've had a, a collapse in gasoline prices where gasoline should be selling for about a dollar seventy a gallon and it's it's still selling for a dollar or for two thirty here in uh in uh uh, here in Tucson, so that that something's not right here. The open interest has dropped badly in the uh uh, crude oil means that the shorts are covering. That market's actually increasing. Now, we got crude oil trading for around 28 bucks a barrel. They're supposed to be selling it for 25 in Saudi Arabia. Yet the, our oil on a commodity exchange that we're looking at is actually held up above those lows that we made the other day at 2770. That that's a that's and I'm short oil. That's one of the things we have on for our people. We're long the euro and, and the yen. They're doing very well and. Uh, we went long in gold and silver today, and uh, we're out of the stock market. And we got out of that at uh, 25.50, hoping for a rally, which we might not get, but we'll see. Uh, oh, well, dollar 67 at Costco. Well, I don't know that that's good, but boy, here in Tucson, the price is still where it was two weeks ago at 2.28 to 2.30 a gallon. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe it just by the refiners. I don't know. So we'll see what's happening. Anyway, I need to uh, give me one second, folks, because. Because uh, we're getting ready for the opening, I need to check. Because I'm afraid if we go red on the uh, S&P, it's not going to be very pretty because of that move that we had last night. I thought for sure with a limit bid that when I uh, would look at it this morning, I dozed off during the time when it was uh, limit up. And uh, when I finally, uh, you know, got back into the uh, swing of things, uh, it had already been, you know, it's been swinging 100 up, 100 down. So it's this is uh, people are a little bit nervous, as we uh, say in the trade. So we are going to get through this. It's going to be uh, f see how it's going to be. Luckily, this thing is not really. Uh, uh, well, 343 in San Diego because they got taxes there. I think it used to be about four something uh, a gallon, but uh, they have so many taxes in California that it's uh, it's just beyond belief. Okay, um, oh, like I mentioned, we're hopefully have, going to have Bill Meridian on at our break, and let me double check these prices to see if uh, see if we're holding up. Well, we're still trading 24.25. That's okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, the currencies are the one. See the U.S. dollar. The euro. See the folks. If you remember that euro position that we were looking at, that was, uh, uh, you know, well, golly gee. 
Does anybody have any questions to help me out of this quagmire today? I'm really not prepared, and I don't like to be unprepared, but there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, I did do something here. I wanted to show you the uh, the flyer from the casino in Philadelphia where they're having the big uh, poker tournament uh, this weekend on the 20th. I just can't uh, I can't believe they're doing it, but they're going to, so we'll, we'll see what's going on. Uh, the other thing is the, the prices of uh, cattle. For, yes, it is deflation right now. This is all deflation. It's, this is this is fear, uh, folks. This is fear in its in its uh, in all of its glory. The fear index uh, is at one, I believe. I don't think it can go to zero. But if you look in the news, everything is related to this. They're even not even beating up on Trump, which well, no, I'm sure they blame him for it. But uh, it's all it's all related to about this. And and you know, the the shoe hasn't dropped yet, folks. There's something out there that they haven't told us. That's the that's the sixty four dollar question. Hopefully, we'll have Bill Meridian on at the break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back, and I'm not sure. Yes, we do have Bill Meridian on the line. Bill, how are you? Uh, okay, I'm speaking to you from my home in New Jersey. I got out of Austria 24 hours ahead of the travel ban. 
Wow. Well, I want to wish you the best of luck wherever you are, my friend. We live in interesting times. Yeah. Uh, I was wondering if you might talk to us just a little bit about this book by Sylvia Brown called End of Days. There's been a lot of uh, flutter about this on the Internet. The book used to sell for about three fifty eight on a uh, on the paperback. Now I saw the paperbacks being offered for $165. So could you tell us a little bit about that, Bill? What book is that? That that book, Sylvia Brown's book, uh, uh, End of Days. You 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 talked about it. You sent me something about it last week on Thursday or Friday. Oh, oh my brother sent that to me. It just uh, she wrote a book about the future and said in 2020 there would be some sort of a, a virus or plague. Yeah. Well, I understand that was the only thing in the book that was right. Is that correct? Or do you know anything about that? Or uh, no, I don't. But I think it's similar to the case where the guy wrote the book about the ocean liner hitting the iceberg and the the, the, the ship was named the Titan. And it did that well before <laughs> the Titanic. Oh, my gosh. I didn't even know there was a book like that. That's incredible. Oh, yeah. Bill, tell us what you think's happening here. Give us your best guess. Yeah, well, I've been saying, you know, my cycles, the weekly and the monthly cycle turned down. And uh, I went bearish on, I think, January 10th, I think. Of course, the top wasn't until later, but there were so many divergences that I just stuck uh, to my bearish guns. And uh, a 38.2% retracement in terms of price of the entire move from 2009 up to the present would take us to 2350 on the S&P. And I said, that's the maximum downside. If it uh, And the timing on it was this week because uh, both, let's see, the monthly cycle turned up a few days ago when the weekly cycle is turning up now and we are on turnaround Tuesday. So according to all my work, it is uh, I turned and went bullish on Friday, which was a day too early. I should have skipped yesterday because I never expected to get a down day of that magnitude. But we've hit the 2350 level and we're at the cycle lows. And uh, I just wanted to add to this uh, two things I learned. First of all, way back in 1970, 71, I was at NYU and I had Professor Robert Cabish who is now, they have a chair in his name at the university. And I, I went to that, uh, I went to that, they made a donation, I went to that, and I met Greenspan, and I met the, uh, all the, the last three governors of the Fed, Volcker was there. And uh, he had told us, we, we, we said it, it was it, um, when the U.S. went off, the, essentially went off the gold standard with the, uh, when Nixon was in office, and he said, well, this means a permanent institutionalized course of inflation. And well, what effect will that have, Professor? And he said, well, that means that uh, booms will become much more exaggerated, and uh, but so will down moves, because there'll just be more money around. And he said, so bear market, bull markets can last longer. And so what about bear markets? He said, well, they could become more compressed. And now Arthur Merrill, I'm sure you know that, na that name, he wrote Behavior of Prices on Wall Street. And uh, Art was a Harvard man, a member of Mensa. And I remember and uh, I said, Art, what is more important in determining a bear market, uh, price or time? And he said, well, if I have to pick between the two, I would say price. I said, so then 1987, that crash could have been a completed bear market, squeezed into a few months. And he said, yes, I think so. And I think that's, uh, that's something one has to get used to. The inflation has distorted the markets to the point where we get very, very big up moves and then air pockets open up. So right now, as a... Uh, if we're at 38.2%, as my friend Tony Plummer in London uh, always reminds us, if it goes below 38.2%, that means the underlying fundamentals have probably shifted. So if we hold here and keep uh, go back up, I, I think we'll go up for a month and then come down again. We'll be in a range like this until the end of September, and then we'll have a strong fourth quarter. But uh, if it goes was below 38.2%, which means significantly below 2350 on the Dow, then it would mean the underlying fundamentals have shifted that this bull market from 09 is probably over and uh, that there's some economic damage that has to be uh, corrected. Uh, at the moment, I don't think that, but I know uh, I always keep that in mind. Okay. Do you think anything will happen? Uh, the U.S. dollar has been extremely strong here these last uh, six or seven days. Do you see that continuing? Uh, yeah, if you remember way back, well, maybe next time, uh, I'll put up the chart of the U.S. dollar from the old Foundation uh, for the Study of Cycles. 
it shows uh, the dollar from colonial times. And if you took the time and the, uh, the time scale and the price off of it, just ask anybody who's got some technical experience, what do you think? Is that bullish or bearish? They would all say bullish. And so uh, I just keep that in mind whenever I'm looking at currencies that if you err with the dollar, it's going to be erring by being too bearish. And um, you know, last year, it was in fact my very experienced client in Abu Dhabi, an American, said to me, uh, you know, gee, the gold and the dollar are going up. Why would they both go up together? Because their correlation has uh, is uh, correlations are minus one to plus one. Their correlation is usually minus zero point seven, and it went to minus zero point two. So until recently, they were moving together. He said, "Well, that can only mean a crisis is coming." Because I know from living overseas and being in the Middle East, if a, a serious crisis is coming, the world assumes that America can hold up better than any other place. So they shift all their assets over here. Mm -hmm. So yes, I. Th I think the dollar is going to stay strong. Okay, we have a question from one of our listeners, and that is, do you have anything the astrological that gives us any hope about this uh, virus that's grabbed the world? Is it going to last, uh, leave, stay? I mean, do you have anything at all that uh, shows on your charts that would give us some ideas? Because you've had some really good things political. I just wonder if you have anything that would tell us uh, in the medical field whether this is, uh, if it's going to be long or short, or any feelings at all? Well, I've never really done a study of of uh, pandemics, but uh, you know maybe next time you have I, I've got to write this up. Next time you have me on, there in December is a Jupiter Saturn conjunction. They're zero degrees apart, which happens every twenty years, which happens to coincide with years ending in zero most of the time. And if you look at that chart, there's a planetary configuration with Neptune, and right out of the book. In fact, when I send it to my friends who do this type of work, I point it out to them. That um, uh, that the interpretation right out of the book was uh, epidemics, and so um, and that Jupiter Saturn conjunction chart, whereas it is not going to strictly define the next twenty years, would indicate it's probably I think short term going to abate and then it's going to come back. So I think it's going to be with us on and off for uh, uh, for some time, and uh, also while I'm on that subject, the uh, Jupiter Saturn conjunction chart, the let me see, I'm trying to remember it, but Uranus Pluto is very strong, and Uranus Pluto is very sudden shifts in financial positions, sudden shocks, and panics. Well, that's in the chart, too, so indicating we're probably going to have a pretty wild ride. Also, it shows great breakthroughs in technology, and um, also, it is, uh, it is happening on the winter solstice, and it's one of, I think I went back several hundred years, and I can only find four that happened on the winter solstice. So that's, uh, it, it's indicating that whatever happens during this period is going to the entire world. Wow. Bill, thanks for joining us, my friend. Travel safe, and our prayers are with you. Oh, I'm with you, too. Thank you, Larry. Bye-bye. You bet. Bill Meridian, Cycles Research, New yeah. Jersey, this week. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. 
The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large-cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, I wanted to get back to uh, talking about the euro. I had a couple questions about it. Here is uh, what we've been watching here uh, in the euro. You'll notice that uh, we had this little Gartley uh, form uh, yesterday. Uh, really nice. It came into 382. You had the ABCD. Folks, this is the exact same pattern that I posted for the uh, E mini S&P. If we get to 2565, it would be that same type of pattern. So, uh, you know, these patterns work. Sometimes they don't, but they do give you a little bit of a heads up. So if that's what you're watching, you know, take a look at it now. We've had a big move here in gold here just a minute ago. We rallied $40 an ounce. So if you were able to buy that, make sure you don't lose anything on that. Put your stop at about uh, break even down there at around uh, 1470 Same thing in the silver. That way you'd be in a free trade. And with these types of markets, free trades are not often very are not offered to us very often. But, but when they are, you know, it's uh, relatively uh, uh, you want to take advantage of that. That's the main thing because that's what these things are really uh, – uh, really for us there for for, for uh, re reducing risk that's what you're looking for let's take a uh, quick look here at the Dow Jones here early this morning I just wanted to give you an idea what's happening so far uh, on a shorter term basis we'll br bring this up here uh, this blue line is the uh, our, our predicted line you notice we're supposed to make a bottom in here right about now and then we should rally until about 1130 watch that folks because if it uh, notice how the high this morning was a 61% percent of the high that we made mid mid evening. Uh, it went around uh, seven o'clock in the morning New York time, four four a.m. Uh, in California. You'll notice where it was limit bid there for quite some time, uh, for about an hour, and then it came off. We came down a thousand points, rallied 900, have come down 800. So it's really crazy. So the key the key time today is uh, right about 11:15 to 11:30. If we're making a high up in there uh, at that time that it would be a uh, time to maybe look at it from the short side if it happens and you know like like we say sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad but we don't know uh, let, me, let me just give I had a picture of this book I wanted to bring this up to you because Bill sent this to me this book was uh, written by a woman named Sylvia Brown I know some of you folks have uh, been following her but from what I've understood from the internet the only thing she got right in this book was this page here which was 312 uh, and I don't know if that's the case or not but that's what it says it says around 2020 and remember this book was written in 1981 she said a severe pneumonia-like illness was spread throughout the globe, attacking the lungs and bronchial tubes and resisting all known treatments. Also more baffling that the illness itself will be in fact, it will be written by, it will be arrive and it will vanish as suddenly as it arrived. 
attack again 10 years later and then disappear completely. Well, any of that, you can believe any, all, or none of it. So who knows? <laughs> okay, we'll see what's going on here. Oh, she died in 2013. Uh, uh, no, uh, it was said that tw it was written in 1981, it said in the, uh, when the book was written in 81, it said, because uh, uh, I, I saw a copy of it, and uh, we'll see anyway. Okay. Um, Anyway, hey, look, everybody makes predictions, you know. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. You're, hey, look, you can do all the predicting you want, boys and girls, but when it comes down, you look in the mirror. That's the one you gotta. That's the one you gotta pay to. It's the man in the mirror that decides. You take the responsibility for this. You're right, Marshall. A broken clock is right twice a day, whether it's Rolex or Timex. It's still right twice a day. It doesn't make any difference. Let's talk just a tad here about these commodity markets, folks. Uh, the bonds, Dennis, I think are going to be the next asset class to get hammered pretty badly. We've dropped interest rates to near zero. The bonds couldn't even rally with that in news. I mean, that in itself is telling you that it's good. But the one that really surprises me is how crude oil can be holding here above 28 bucks because, uh, you know, selling it for 25 in Saudi Arabia, if in fact they're selling it, I don't know. But it's surprising because heating oil and gasoline have just absolutely been trashed. I mean, I think I saw gasoline at... Uh, 80 cents or something on the uh, futures market uh, last night. I think it crossed at uh, 84 cents or something like that. That's like a buck a quarter, a buck and a quarter a gallon. That's half of what it is here. So hey, no matter what happens, folks, we're going to get through this. We're all going to be a lot better. Also, if and I'm probably wrong about the markets closing because I'm wrong a lot, but if if they do, the foreign exchange markets will still be open because countries are, even though they're shutting their borders, they're not going to be shutting the electronic borders. So they'll still have to do transactions. Bills have to be paid. Money has to be collected. So that'll all be good. And the, and the commodity markets are running beautifully. I mean, the foreign exchange markets are running beautifully. There's no ups and, you know, limit up, limit down. But uh, they are trading and they're trending in the direction that they sh thought they would be going to. So watch it. Now, someone mentioned that the uh, pattern in the dollar index could be a broadening top pattern. I don't see that as of yet. I don't see any symmetry there that would tell us. And, I, hey, I could be wrong. I will double check that. But I don't see a double top. Uh, well, it could be a double top because we don't know what's going to happen when it gets back to that 99 level. You know, it could very easily stop right in its tracks. And that's what we look for is to see if that's a case to do it. But with that strong thrust that we have here in this dollar index, that's a very very, very bullish factor, folks. So we need to watch that closely. We One of the things that we want to do is uh, I'm going to start doing this uh, this weekend because we're going to have a little extra time on my hands, is we've got to start looking at these commodity markets because many of them, I mean, cattle are so far below cost of production now that it's ridiculous. I mean, it's, I think, 80 cents on cattle that were just trading at a buck 20 when we had that big pattern, uh, the big sell set. Uh, let's bring that up, let the folks see it here. We had that big sell pattern uh, in the cattle uh, one second I didn't even do that one but let me uh, here it is right here let's get the cattle up so we can take a look at it and uh, this is you're not going to believe where these cattle are trading now folks they're they're trading below 85 now in cattle you see when we went through this the uh, 1.618 there at 98 uh, they're now trading at 85. But uh, you can see the triple. You can see that uh, little uh, the triple top up here. The symmetry that was happening up there at the 130 level. The key level, folks, was at uh, 122. The market broke badly, rallied up to a 382 retracement, kissed that line, and said bye bye. And then you can see what's happened after that. So that's the main thing. That that pattern right there, folks. Look at it closely because you see that little thing that uh, that I just uh, locked on there and 382 and said bye bye. That's 2565 in the S and P. So watch 2565 if it gets there because if it does, it'll be a real interesting thing to uh, pay close attention to. So we'll see. Um, Anyway, if we do go red here in the stock market here uh, this morning, it's going to get pretty nasty, I would believe. But who knows? It's six, six, one, uh, one or the other. Who knows? In fact, we almost uh, uh, did. We go red. We came really close, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, we did. We finally went red. That's not a good sign. Got gold trading at fourteen ninety two. That's up about thirty bucks. From the low uh, bonds sold off about a point and a half, just in a, in a, in a heartbeat. Uh, 
uh, boy, they're really they're really nailing Tesla really bad. That's a that stock, uh, even though it doesn't take any gas, is uh, still under a lot of trouble. I don't know if it's because of the money rise or whatever. So. Uh, some of these markets have just gotten totally uh, massacred. Uh, 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today if you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, folks, let's uh, talk a little bit about the bonds. We're trading at around 78.17. We had a high of 192. Uh, open interest is uh, telling us that something really bad has happened in these bonds, and they're probably not going to go up and make new highs, would be my guess. Let's just take a quick look at them here. Uh, just bear with me one second, see what I've got going here. I'm, only, I'm going as fast as I can, Al. Just bear with me here, pal. There we go. There's the Treasury bonds. You'll see here that uh, we were trading at 78.17. We had the big breakdown from 191 and change down to 171. We rallied up. 
to 50% retracement there at 182. That's when the Fed came out yesterday and shot all the cannons that they had, in my opinion. And I'm sure there are other cannons, but uh, we're now trading 170. When we get below, if we get below this 171, the price objective on those bonds is 162. Folks, all asset classes are getting hammered with the exception of the U.S. dollar. So pay uh, pay close attention to that. It's very, very interesting to see if uh, that's what's going on. Now, we're, hammer we're getting hammered really badly in these stocks, and uh, that's pretty much what I was afraid of. Well, expecting, but not afraid of. But we'll, we'll see what's going on. If you're in the gold and silver, hang on for dear life. Uh, keep an eye on your crude oil. We're still short crude. I'm just about ready to cover it. I'm going to give it a little bit more time here to see if it's going to do anything at all. But that's pretty much what I'm watching here. Uh, with these markets. Uh, I am going to uh, definitely not uh, uh, stay up all night tonight. I don't care what happens. Well, I shouldn't say that. Uh, but we'll see what happens uh, with these things. But anyway, uh, wow, Tesla's trading at uh, 114. This, was, uh, this is what I was looking at in Tesla here uh, last night and, and early this morning with, uh, with Tom. Uh, I'll just get this up here and take a quick look at it here so we can take it. There it is right here. Here's the first one this morning, real early this morning, pre-market. You can see the uh, the Tesla uh, rallied back up to that 3.8. See, in strong trending markets, folks, all you're going to get is a 3.82 bounce, and then boom, we're trading it. Believe it or not, we're trading at 4.10. 4.10, it was 4.40 when I posted this an uh, hour ago. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.